Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Ate D. I'm a travel nurse as well as your diabetes advocate. I am now on my second day uh, post of uh, surgery. So um, it was really, it was okay really. Um, as you know, I'm, I don't like needles. I know I'm a nurse, but I don't like needles that much. And they, what they did is they put a numbing solution first and then they inject. I have to warn you, it's still going to be, pay, be pain, painful because um, the skin, the, the gums might be numb. However, uh, the solution have to get in. So yeah, it is painful still. However, it's not that very painful to think about. Think about how painful it was when your teeth is really, really painful when it has an infection in it. Um, eh, the price of the pain that you'll get for a few, few minutes, well, just right, just enough for you to bear. And um, yeah, it was a really good procedure. Um, for me, like I was picked up at 5.30 in the afternoon and I was operated about mm, quarter to 10 or uh, like uh, uh, 9.30 in the evening because I think the other ladies that in front of me has complications and and you know just just relax and maybe best for you to go when you go there like like have your like ipad or something like that for you to to wait wait for the doctors or the dentist to to operate you so it's better for you to to just relax and listen to music and anything like that so that you will not have a build up nervousness when you when you get into the clinic to the clinic um the operating area there will be two nurses one is the main nurse that will assist the, the dentist and the other one is the is the one that provides uh, his the runner basically so with my procedure i have um four implants and then i got uh, four extraction and i got two uh, four crowns and then three bridges so that's what will happen to my teeth um i i am as you can see uh i have i still have my normal teeth and i still have my let's see that that doesn't hurt taste so the one that a bit lighter, you see that one? Those are implants and they are plastic by the way. I did it straight away, like straight away. Um, uh, while they were like uh, shaving my teeth, they were like forming the, 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 my teeth and then they put it on straight away. So that one and that one are all plastic. So yeah, so um, I opt for uh, functionality instead of um, cosmetically because um for me my my frustration is my dentures uh, my dentures ruin my teeth my my good teeth this one it ruined this one and it ruined that one and um you know when we're aging i think we need to make sure that we are um kind of uh, look after our gust uh, stomach as well because you know that the teeth is uh, our mouth is very very important so what you what you put in your mouth will will reflect into your health so um i have problems with chewing um aside from i don't like meat that much i like vegetables and fish but it is for those people who has um uh like uh like with like hard food i think it is good to have good teeth so that we can chew it properly so hopefully once that um my teeth will be done um completed i can chew and eat and enjoy food better uh not to um swallow straight away because you cannot really chew because my back teeth is even though I got dentures it's not really that good bite so i'm hoping that they're gonna that the, the i'm hoping that they will like create the back of my teeth like uh in like i can deliver a good bites for all the food that i'm going to eat and also they said that they are not going to put all the teeth because apparently the back of our teeth we don't really need it that much um that's why i said all right so um that's what I said in my first live that um, they are because of my this one this gums and this gums don't have any more um, bone to, to, to for my teeth to latch on so that's why I have put a bridge um, I have I have a mixed feeling about the bridge but they they were saying that um, uh, it depends on like the reason why I don't like the bridge at first is because that of the infection but they were saying that if you are worried about infection you should like i think you should that is a myth because if you are really good in in uh cosme, like uh, what you call this one cleaning your teeth it should be all right and as long as you visit your dentist every six months um to be honest with you i don't really visit my dentist all the time um i only visit them when uh, tip, i'm typical i only visit them when i have toothache even i don't have toothache really i don't really visit them that much because first of all i'm really busy at work and um 
second of all i i just don't like them the dentist i don't like them but i have to learn how to like them because i needed them so that i will not go through a lot of pain as what i'm doing and what i've been experiencing before so um they were giving me this is the the one that they give me so i have an emergency contact numbers so if you're in um, uh, like emergency thing that happened to you for example uh when they did my tooth um after a teeth after they extracted i was i think in a verge of panic i'm not really sure because there's a lot of blood coming out and um and then i after the extraction you were told to go downstairs and have your your teeth like um like have your jaw has x-ray so they will take two x-rays so you basically you're bleeding you must not spit if the doctor would say don't spit don't open your mouth don't don't spit don't open your mouth follow what the dentist said so i have loads of tissue uh, look at look at this picture that's not me like you know um it's just the tissue like like i have to put the ice pack on and then i have tissue in here and i was like oh my god like and then the stupid thing i did as well is because i after the the x-ray the stupid thing i did is i run from from the i run upstairs because i was panicking go too much blood i want a tissue i want a tissue that's in my brain so i did not think about the complication of running and bleeding because it will increase more bleed if you run if you put an effort so i was like run, run, run. and i went up there and then um the then the dentist then prescribed me antibiotics um anti-inflammatory um and then pain relief and also um mouthwash the 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 pain relief that they're giving you is stronger but i said like oh can i have paracetamol and ibuprofen only because i don't like the the other um, medication i don't want to the, the pain relief that you're giving me is quite strong i don't want that so this is the dentist said the tumor that i'm giving you i think you need a stronger pain relief however the paracetamol um because now i am more than 50 kilograms so I'm a bit bit heavier. I can take two paracetamol because to have to sa mga ta mga tao sa Philippines, I'll tell you before ka mo take or before you take um, any pain relief like paracetamol, you have to make sure that you are for 50 kilos more. You can take two tablets of 500 milligrams of paracetamol. Kung below, then you must not take any just one one paracetamol be enough. So basically, guys, so I took. Two paracetamol and one 200 milligram of ibuprofen and it helps me a lot then after that i was still like the doc the dentist was saying to me um oh oh um i don't have i don't have problem i, I saw the x-rays um i don't have problem the placement of the of the implants is really good it's, it's okay and then um uh you have you, do you have um uh any questions i said no because i got no question i don't know what he's doing there he's just like remove it. I, I, as long as he said i trusted them so he said like do you have any questions i don't have questions at all however what is oh talk talk to me i can't talk because obviously um i'm still bleeding and i'm trying to to um keep on the saliva my my mouth my whole the healing area is numb so i was thinking if i'm going to talk every every saliva will come off and also i cannot really swallow i feel like i can't swallow if i will swallow i will aspirate so i prefer not to swallow so so i get tissue tissue and i keep on asking them give me tissue they give me tissue and then i think i annoy them a lot i don't know i don't know and then um the when so the, the, the dentist says you can talk i go no i can't i can't talk i was signing language like let me let me let me write like that and then the doctors like the dentist don't want me to write down to to miss his his, his uh, prescription but it's like no i want to write down anyway it happens and i think i, I still have to go i'm gonna go um so oh, thank you very much and I'll, I'll see you and then the dentist then continue his work his work and he's not he's ignoring me then because he's focusing on what he's uh, he's ignoring me however i observe i observe before I, when i said like can you give me something for my thing one of the nurse pick up a ghost this is the thing that with nurses we should be um more um uh not forceful but we will tell the patient to shut up like you know he should say to me like look shush like leave it like let me like don't run or or you should tell them that, that, that because i don't mind They're like oh mrs nor don't run because it will make your make your uh, mouth bleed more or or shove this um this goes into your mouth not to shut you up but just to shut the 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 uh like the bleeding uh and I'm like you should say that but the but the nurse i said like tissue tissue i said well, i just want tissue and my brain i was thinking why she did not give me um uh like a uh, gauze to bite on because any wound to make it stop you have to put pressure in it to to create a clot 
so that it will stop bleeding. Mine, I don't have anything in my mouth. So basically, I have a hole that is bleeding like mad. So I was like, well, how can I do this? How can I do this? So anyway, guys, uh, the nurse did not give me the gauze. Because I asked for tissue, he, she did not really say, hold on, don't go. I'll put you a tissue. I'll, I'll put you some gauze. She did not. She just let, they just let me go. So they, they escorted me downstairs and all that. Straight away, I then went to the um, reception. The reception didn't say, oh, Mrs. North, this is the, the medication you needed. Um, unfortunately, uh, because it's late time, it's about 10.30 already at night time. So it's 10.30 already at night. Um, the pharmacies are already closed. Some of the pharmacy that is open, there are only two pharmacies in the area that is open who will not have this medication. So I said, like, as long as I get my antibiotics, I'm fine. Anyway, so straight away, in, in, in a minute, my, my taxi my, my taxi arrived and they took me to, uh, the, the driver is really, really nice because he's like, oh, I'm learning to speak English. Oh, can you, can you, oh, my name is this, this, and I, he's really cute. However, when you're in pain, sometimes you don't want to talk, but um, but be nice and be polite. You say, all right, okay, so don't, be, be genuine too as well. So, um, and this guy, like, uh, um, bought the thing uh, so I, because I saw the reception look I cannot really speak can you please ask the driver to to buy it for me and then yeah you can trust the driver they just you just give them they will come back with a calculator and then with with a translator and this is what you need to pay da, 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 and this is what they don't have and that's it really um Turkish don't really expect you to tip so it's up to you if you want to tip you can that would be nice but if you don't want to if you don't want to tip then it's up to you you know what I mean so yeah, so I arrive, I arrive in the hotel with loads of blood, right? With the ice pack and the blood and then all the paperwork because I don't have a big bag. So all the paperwork was in my armpit, I was doing that. And then my hair, because my hair is like that, so that the reception of the hotel, like is very gay. Like, are you right, Mrs. Norton? Are you sure nothing happens to you? Because I got so much blood. And I said, yes, yes, I don't have nothing happened like um. And just, just leave me alone, please. I want to. Do you want me to take you to the to your room? You go, no, no, no. I'm alright. I'm alright because I want to live in the in the first floor. So I took him and 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 then when I arrive here, oh my God, I just let that let that like um flow the blood, the saliva, just leave it flow in there. So I was thinking like I do, I run out of tissue. I run out of tissues. I'll show you what I did because of so much blood coming out and the, and the, I got no more tissue. I said to myself like. What I can use you know, to, to so that I will not be like flowing with loads because flowing with loads of saliva because to be honest with you, my shirt, you know, and also tip, tip, very, very have a good tip. Do not go there wearing your nice jeans and a nice shirt. I know you like to look good, but to be honest with you, you're gonna be covered with blood. So just because I've just learned that my white shirt, my favorite white shirt now is in the bin because it's too much blood in it. So what I did. I become creative then. So I said, like, oh my God, what I got in that what I got in here to help me catch the the, the fluid and the blood. What I did, I have my um mask. So the mask is um like that. I, I put the hard bit on the top, on the top there as normal. And then sanitary pad, knowing that sanitary pad can handle fluid. So <laughs> I did this because I said like study. I'm just getting need to be creative. So when you put it, you have to do it like that. It looked like a swing. So I was thinking maybe just do it like a swing and then put that sanitary pad there. Yeah. Hold on. So so that it will not so it will catch the whole thing. And then I did it like that. So when it was when it was really, really bad. It just flow because it it it's no point to put it in there because it doesn't it the the, the drip will was still gonna be so important thing is to put it in your chin like that and then at least you can see see what's going on and then and then just put the tissue there so whatever dribble coming out a dribble whatever whatever the dribble that coming out here will be um will be cut underneath the, the sanitary pad so it is better you still have your hands free for the ice pack so what i did as well because i can't i can't be like in here until i die so what i did i put um i put a headband on and then the headband then compresses my face which is very very comfortable believe me it's comfortable so i have you know the scarf that i wore um the, the, the one the one that scarf there 
um, I use it. I use it to to um, to head to hold my my um, ice pack, and then compresses my my teeth, my face like that. Oh, it's so comfortable. So that's it, really. So that was the the scenario. I think, guys, I need to cut it off here because it is too long now. Um, I will be back in another video, part two, on this video about my journey. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.